So I'm here at the International Fly Tackle Dealer Show. It is September 2010. This is the Stackpole Book Booth, and this is these are the book people. And you're smiling. Hey, everybody. So these are some uh, this is, these are some of my favorite people. These are the people that are keeping publishing going in the world of fly fishing. Here we've got Ed Engel signing his new book, Trout Lessons. It's incredible. Uh, and you can find signed copies around, thanks to Ed. We've got Trish over here. Hi, Trish. Watch out. Hello, hello. Okay, so I want to introduce you to Judith Schnell. Judith Schnell is the editor in chief. And don't you even have a new title? I have the title of publisher. Publisher. And publisher. And Stackpole Books and Magazines. So, Judith, from my perspective, it seems to me that you are the editor of the greatest writers in fly fishing today. And I, it seems to me like you're keeping fly fishing publishing alive right now. What, uh, <laughs> to what do you attribute your success? I've been publishing at Stackpole for 30 years. And when I started, uh, I was new to fly fishing and new to fly fishing literature and one of my mentors was actually Nick Lyons who had been in the business much longer than I and uh, when I came to Stackpole, Stackpole had not been publishing its fly fishing, outdoor sports, hunting books for a period of time. Stackpole books 80 years old now. So when I came, 50 years old, and had, uh, in a way, forsaken its roots and hadn't been publishing fly fishing and outdoor sports. And uh, when I was looking for books to publish at Stackpole, I decided that we should go back to our roots. So I began to look at fly fishing books, and I didn't want to compete directly with Nick. Nick was doing a great job with literary books, black and white books, and I decided that I would go a different way. Uh, and Nick has always been a colleague and was very helpful to me, uh, but I decided I didn't want to compete head to head. So I started looking for books that perhaps Nick was not going to publish, and uh, I was looking for how-to books, technique books, and um, I began to look for authors. One of the first authors that I decided I wanted to publish, I didn't want to steal any other publisher's authors, but I started reading fly fishing books and I became acquainted with Dave Hughes's writing. Our buddy Dave. Our buddy Dave. And I went out to actually, an, I went out to an NRA national convention because we were publishing hunting and shooting books and I tried to get a copy of Dave Hughes's book in a bookstore and I couldn't get one. And was this Angler's Astoria? Yeah, it was. And I ended up writing Dave and telling him that I was, a, I'd like to be a fan of his of his writing and he sent me a book and that's how we started. I started with Dave Hughes. First book I published was Hammock of Patches. Wow. A little how-to book. Still in print. Book. Still in print. Uh, I recently brought that book back, new edition, full color. So we started black and white, we started with some modest books, 1995, actually way back then I think Handbook of Hatches might have been 1295, wow. uh, but started that way and uh, writers have always been important to me. I think that you want to publish the very best writing. So start with the best writers and then work with them to conceive a book that hasn't been done and then publish it in a way that perhaps hasn't been done. So quality of writing, quality of authors, really important. So from those roots, 30 years ago, Dave Hughes, um, built a stable of authors and just did the very best we could with them, uh, making sure that we um, have good relationships with authors and Dave is still with us. We have great loyalty among our authors. And, and we're like working on a new book, us. I hear. Always working on a new <laughs> book. We always have to be working on a new book, but um, we keep our authors. Uh, they have good things to say to us, uh, say about us in the marketplace. 
we put we put a lot of money into our books, probably more money than we should, doing the very best book we can, whether it's with photographs, with illustrations, with the quality of the writing, uh, the quality of the paper, the presentation, always trying to do something that hasn't been done. If it's incorporating a DVD into a book, or working with step-by-step -step photos and illustrations and text. We just done a book with Renee Harrop that I've been very particular about the art, the text, the photos, all working together, not one part overwhelming another. When I started working with Mike Lawson, I was very particular with him about the photos that we're going to have in the book, the writing that we're going to have in the book. So those things really yeah. matter if you're going to be long-term in this industry. So cultivating the, the great writers and focusing on quality. And working with writers to bring their particular strengths to a book, making the book really individual, uh, unique to, uh, to the author's strength. Not having cookie cutter books, formula books, but making each book uh, special in a way that reflects the author's contribution. Well, I can tell you that you're doing a great job, and we sure appreciate it. Do you want to uh, want to show us a couple of your favorites right now? Sure. They're all my favorites. <laughs> They're all they your are babies? They're all my favorites, but I will show you some new releases. Great. Thank you. But I would like to have like two hundred of those. The matching. We have a Simon Gosworth second book with us. We did spay casting, and this is single-handed spay casting. It's a brand new book. Uh, Lefty is always a favorite, and we did we did actually Lefty's first full color book. I can't believe that Lefty hadn't had a full color book. And I said, Lefty, we want you to do the casting book. Give us as many photographs as you possibly can on every kind of cast, and we will make a fantastic book. So this is Lefty's book. Uh, Learning from the Water Renee. Renee had done several books before, but Renee really wanted to have his artwork incorporated into a book. So we found a way of using, actually, Renee is a splendid artist. So we have wow. Renee's art. Uh, we're using Renee's art through the book and then being very careful to not have any one element overwhelmed. So we have text, we have photos, and we have art all in one book. But the way I was talking about the particular strengths of, it, of, a, of an author, Renee is an artist and his art should have been shown off long ago. So we're very proud of this one. Fantastic. And what a guy. Yes. I mean, what a great gem. reputation. Oh. What you want is to work with authors who've devoted their lives to to the sport and uh, and becoming as, as strong as they can be, whether it's a guide, a, a teacher, a fly tire, and to show off that learning, that lifetime of learning in a book. That's what we're after. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me, and uh, just thanks thanks for keeping it all alive. We really well, appreciate it. It's my pleasure. All right. Thanks, Judith. You're welcome.